Welcome to my whistle stop tour of some of the main features in Fly Sky High. So when you open up Fly Sky High, it opens up on the fly screen and you can create multiple pages um, and scroll between them when you're flying. We'll go into that in more detail in a minute. Now there's obviously other screens within Fly Sky High. You swipe up from the bottom, not like that. I'll just do, let that go again. Swipe up from basically, yeah, the, the, in the bottom section of the screen. And you've got the flight book, so that's the log of all your flights, waypoints, preload, and settings. Let's have a quick look at settings. Definitely, if you're a UK XC pilot, buy waypoints and airspaces. Set up your pilot and glider. Your pilot name has to be the same as appears in your, as how you registered on the XC League if you want to submit IGC files from Fly Sky High. Uh, Vario, you can use the iPhone Vario, I don't, it works okay on the um, iPhone 6 but it's it hasn't got the sensitivity of a dedicated Vario. I use an external Vario, XC Tracer, I don't have, I don't use its GPS it, for the Fly Sky High IGC file. Um, I like to have two completely independent IGC files, so the XC Tracer will record one, as will Fly Sky High. Live Tracker, yeah, set all that up. You can add your friends, give them a change of colour, and you can they will appear on your screen when you're flying. Maps. Uh, have them all ticked. I prefer the zoom wraps around to be off, otherwise I find it confusing. Show landings, none. Show takeoffs, none. Show waypoints. I only show only route, route points. I don't want the screen cluttered up. Manual panning, leave that on so you can scroll your map screen to look at what's coming up in airspace. Um, airspaces, yeah, you'll just need to work all those out for yourself. Waypoints doesn't matter, other, don't worry about that either, there's not much in, in there. So, back to the fly screen. How do we edit this? So, you click and hold on an instrument, and then it brings up, it turns into edit mode. So, let's just practice so we'll make the map scroll smaller by I'm just pinching and zooming here with two fingers to change that press and hold on an instrument and then you can drag it somewhere else um, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to leave them up there if you accidentally delete something or you want to add a new thing press the plus and we can add a, I don't know glide ratio right, nearest landing say um, if you leave it for too long, the map goes back into normal mode. So press and hold on the instrument again. Click the minus to delete it, or the, the delete or stop sign, or whatever it is. Resize. There we go. Leave it a few seconds. Oh, if I wanted to make a new screen, I've already got four. But you can't. I can't scroll beyond that at the moment. Press and hold. And then I've got a whole blank screen to play with, which I don't really want. Rene, the developer, is looking at adding some um, sort of page management tools like copying and deleting and hiding. Um, so you expect to see that in a future release. Obviously, you can you saw you can pan around, press and hold on an airspace, and you see the details about it, what heights it goes up to. It does take into account the air pressure. So if we've got like this one here, what is this? Okay, there's five and a half thousand feet up to flight level 195. So it will work out what flight level 195 actually is. And here it's actually 18,945 feet. So it's low pressure at the moment in the UK, hence the actual height is lower. So that's the fly screen. Let's have a look at waypoints. 
this is where the fun starts. So this is the list view. Click in the top left on the circular arrow and you get the map view. You can see I've got a gazillion waypoints in here. Um, you can create routes by just adding them on the fly. So if you're on the hill, okay, well, let's see. Let's, we've got some Westbury. Let's say we want to fly from Westbury to uh, Gillingham. So add waypoint. So we could, let's just move that one. Um, to, to move it, you have to click on it first. It's fiddly, this. Ah. There we go. And you zoom in. You probably want to, if you're planning a waypoint, you probably want to change the maps to be... Uh, Aerial view. Go back to the waypoint screen. There we go, finally. So you can see the 400 meter cylinder. If I want to just move that a bit, let's put it at that junction there. Now, you can use the edit route button and then click and drag them, but quite honestly, I find that rather hard work. I prefer to just click on it, press the I button then click the button bottom left, add to route. You don't actually see anything happening, but it, it is happening. Uh, let's go back to Westbury. Yeah. Click the I button, click the add to route button. Now we can see there is our route, except for one major thing, it's a reverse order. So click the list view, toggle button, and we see, we see we've got two waypoints in the route. Click and hold, and then just drag like that. And now, if we go back to the fly screen, we can see we've got the arrow in the right direction this time. So that's how to, that's one way to create a route, just on the fly, which is very easy. Let's just delete that. Other ways are to import them. So, how do we import them? Well, you can fire up XC Planner in Safari on your phone. That's one way of doing it, and just do the download. Or you can plan it on your PC and send it to yourself. I tend to do that quite a lot. And we'll use Telegram quite often to do it. Let's close that. So, yeah, here are some... Roots Mir Mega Triangle. So I've saved that as a WPT file on my PC. Sent it to my transfer channel in in Telegram. And I can just click on it. Press the share button top right. And open in Fly Sky High. Import four waypoints. Yep, okay. Um, you can't actually see, that's that's one of them here. I don't want to go around tapping them, adding them each time, so I'll go to the list view, scroll down the bottom, Mere Mega Triangle. Click on the eye and press the, the add to route. Copy four waypoints to the route. I'll replace routes just in case I had one there already. And there you can see it. Oh, let's just change the back to uh, terrain a bit clearer. Yeah, so there's your route. So that's super easy. If you want to reorder it, because you actually you've got the second and third waypoints the wrong way around, press and hold and drag. And now we can see the route is the other way around. Swipe to delete. Let's just delete them from here. Swipe to delete. Swipe to delete. There's a few others. Um, let's go back to Telegram. So here you can see I've got a few XC Planner sort of sharing links. So here was one um, looked at the other day. 
This was a potential flight for last Friday. Selsley to Petersfield. Now, it's this won't work. You can't download from here unless you put in Safari to start with. So click the Safari button, bottom right. And you see the same thing in Safari, obviously. Uh, so I was trying to work out where I'd be after every hour. So click there, click download. Click download again. You get the option open in FlySky High. Import, yep. Yeah. And okay, we can't actually see them all there. But if we go to the list view, scroll down, my turn points. And there they are. So actually, we don't want to import all of them as a declared flight. You can't do that. It's, it's just got to be the first and last. So I've just selected both of them. Click the Add to Route button. Replace route, just in case we had something there already. Uh, there's your route, and you can see how far it is, 122 kilometers. And you can see it on the waypoint page and also on the fly page. So that is super easy. If you're doing a competition task, um, you will typically import a file of waypoints and I mean, you'll do that by, you know, as I, sh as I showed via Telegram, or you can email them to yourself or, or put them in Dropbox, whatever. So I've got 61 waypoints here. Um, so you just pick your waypoints. You can select them in the right order, click the button, replace route. You can add some more in one at a time. Once you've finished, you can go and edit that and change change this, the radiuses if you need to. Um, so we can see that's 96 kilometers in total. Uh, this is actually not 400, that's 4,000. Let's say done, um, and that will that will change it. So there's your task. Yeah, not uh, there's a interesting route, but you can see it there, and. The second to last, I made four kilometres, and you can see it's got a bigger circle around it. Um, let's go and edit that. If you found you've got something in the wrong order, obviously you just click and hold and drag. Um, now, you might want to save that. That's task one. You might want to keep a record of the, the task you found. Click the plus. Call it task one done go back into your route click the folder button bottom right scroll down and you see the folder task one so that's moved them to task one so we've got a record there oh if you wanted to share anything say you've got a route set up like my mere mega triangle click the share button that's the square with the upward pointing arrow. So you've, you want to share this with your buddies on the hill, maybe send it to Telegram and they'll pick it up via Telegram. Click on Telegram. Choose which group you're going to share it in. I'm going to share it to my transfer channel. Share. And if I go in, back into Telegram, done to get out of that. You'll see here is my mere mega triangle, which your, your mates will then be able to import into Fly Sky High. Um, so we've covered quite a lot. Fly, waypoints, settings. Let's have a look at the flight book. This is great. It shows you all your flights listed uh, newest first, how long each flight was in terms of duration. So this is my flight from Coombe Gibbet the other day. You get some good stats. Took off at 10.34, landed at 14.36. 
73.8 kilometers horizontal, you know, straight line, with turn points 84 and a half. You can replay the flight and that's good fun. You can see you know how close you got to the airspace, etc etc. You can show a graph of the flight. So it's uh, one pretty low save. The rest was okay. Oh yeah, you can you can scroll that to zoom in. So you can then look see I was down to two hundred meters then and the ground was about a hundred meters, so yeah, not much not very high off the ground. Um you can export. So if you want to send your IGC file, if you want to upload it to the UK XC League, what you have to do is say open in another app. And then choose Dropbox, well, or Telegram, whatever. I, I keep all my flights in a, a folder on my PC in Dropbox. So I just do copy to Dropbox. Save it next seas. I'm not going to do it because I've already got the file there. But you get the idea. And then when you fire up your PC, it will be there, ready to upload to the XC League. You can, obviously, you can open Google Earth. You can upload it straight to Leonardo, which is a paragliding forum or XX contest. If you wanted to save the KML file to Dropbox, you do that open in Google Earth as well. And it doesn't actually open it in Google Earth straight away. It gives the option to you know where you want to send it to. So if you want to open Google Earth, click copy to Google Earth. If you want to send it to Dropbox, you just do the Dropbox again. Simple. Cancel. Um, that, I think, is pretty much that. It is, uh, it is excellent and only getting better. Okay, let's call that a day.